Hello, Shabbat Shalom. I hope you've had a good week. Um, I hope everybody in the family is well. Um, this coming Wednesday night, Thursday, is a, a Jewish uh, date uh, where we fast in commemoration of the destruction of the temple. So I'd like to share a parable that uh, gives a Hasidic interpretation to how we look at this date. Once upon a time, there was a, um, once upon a time, there was a king that had a palace and inside the palace were the crown jewels. And um, unfortunately, there was a fire and the crown jewels uh, got, uh, got ransacked from the palace. And, uh, you know, thieves were able to get in and, uh, you know, take, take, all the, take all the jewels. The uh, king comes back to the palace and sees that all the jewels have gone missing. You know, you can rebuild the palace, but what about all the jewels? So what the king does is gets a bunch of doves and trains them to, col to be attracted to shiny stones. And that way they start collecting first from the courtyard and bring them back to a certain room in the palace and slowly start sending them a little bit further afield. And they start collecting more and more gems and finding them scattered all around the various uh, fields around the palace. And these uh, doves keep traveling further and further, finding different gems that are hidden. However, the king has a problem. And the problem is that the doves only are flying to a certain distance, and then they come back to the palace, and at a certain point, they aren't interested in traveling any further. So what the king does, something very painful, is destroys the palace and that way the doves don't have a home they now need to go much further afield and they have to find they, they end up finding gems and stones much further away but they don't have a palace and the intention is that at some point later the king will rebuild a new palace but that way they will have found all those gems that were hidden much further, which they wouldn't have found whilst the palace was there. And you may by now understand this parable to explain the understanding of the destruction of the temple. Whilst on one hand, it's something sad, but its purpose, one of its purposes uh, is for Jewish people, generally mankind, to go further afield and not just be stuck in one place, to be able to find gems and find positive mitzvot that you can do uh, around the world and not just be stuck in one place and keep searching always for more and more gems until we hope eventually at some point we've found all of them and then we can go back to our palace in Jerusalem with the temple together with Messiah. So may that indeed happen, that Mashiach should come before even the 9th of Av this coming Wednesday night, and that will save us also having to fast as well. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom, and see you next week.